Hello, my friends, David Kessler here, and welcome back to the studio. Did Paul Newman show up? So that's a question that I always ask my workshop students at the end of a workshop day when we're critiquing and looking at and analyzing their work. The question is always the same. Did Paul Newman show up? You see, paintings are much like films. In a film, back in the day, and I realized that Paul Newman, by the way, don't send me e nasty emails saying, well, Paul Newman's dead. I realize that. He died in 2008. But bear with me, this is just an analogy. You see, films and paintings have a lot to do with each other. Both creative activities, both creative things. Back in the day, Paul Newman was the star, the man, the big kahuna, the important guy, the big guy when it came to movies. So when you, Paul Newman was in a movie, he was the star. Except, of course, where he shared credits with Robert Redford for Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. But he was the star. And if you look at most films, there's only one star. One main star. They get the most money. They're the biggest box office draw. Their name comes first in the movie and the list of cast members. And of course, there's a lot of other co-stars in the movies as well. And they're supporting actors for the star and for the film. Just like in a painting, right, the movie has to have a star. A painting also has to have a star. It has to have Paul Newman. He's got to show up. <laughs> He's got to show up. In that place that Paul Newman shows up in a painting is the center of interest. Some people call it the focal point, the area of interest, the area of dominance. It all means the same thing. I reference it as the center of interest. That's the most important part of the painting. That's the place that's gonna draw your eye first, right? That's Paul Newman, or if you wanna use another name, George Clooney, or Brad Pitt, or John Wayne, or Angelina Jolie, or, uh, um, Jen Aniston, or any other list of actors or actresses that you may want to come up with. You have to have a star in a painting. It's the first place you want to look. It's the most important part of the painting. Now remember, it's your job as the artist to explain to the viewer what that most important part of the painting is. If you don't tell them, they don't know. Think about it like this. Paintings are all about contrast. Big and small, thick and thin, light and dark, bright and dull. Right? That sets up a kind of a dominance in the painting. Now, just like a film, every person, well, let's put it this way. In a film, every person that's in it does not have equal billing. They don't have equal number of lines. They don't have equal numbers in the, in the credits, where their name is placed in the credits. They don't get equal pay, right? So they're not all equal. You have bigger stars, the star, bigger stars, other stars, on down the line to supporting people. You got the guy that goes and gets the coffee and donuts for everybody else. He doesn't get paid the same as Paul Newman. His level of importance is way, way, way down in the film compared to Paul Newman. Same way in a painting, right? All parts of a painting cannot and should not be equal, right? You got places that are more important and places that are simply supporting actors and then other places that's just a guy that goes and gets a coffee and donuts who has little importance in the storytelling of the painting, right? All parts cannot be equal in a painting. And I see abstract paintings all the time, all day long, every day, that, you know, no part is more important than another part. They're all equal, right? And when it's all equal, that leads to boredom. And boredom leads to sleep, right? 
Contrast provides the interest in a painting. And interest leads to engagement by the viewer. And that's really what it's all about. I mean, we're giving these paintings, the things that we do to others to enjoy and to look at and to be hopefully be a part of and be engaged with. So that's what we're after. We're after engagement. We don't want people to be bored with what we do. In contrast, the difference between the parts with regard to color and value and shapes and dominance and sizes and all those other things, what makes a painting interesting and gives it that needed contrast. All right, so the next time you're looking at your painting or someone else's painting, ask the question, did Paul Newman show up? Now, if you're interested in how to make Paul Newman show up in your paintings, you should join me for a workshop. I teach all over the country. You can go to the description below and there's a, a link that you can click on to see my list of workshops. And there's contact people in there with their email address and phone numbers. Contact them, go to the websites, uh, check out the times and everything about the workshops. And I hope you'll come paint with me at one of those workshops. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you think this is a good video, be sure and share it with your friends. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.